The Battle of Others saw the Anglo-Portuguese army under Field Marshal Arthur Wellesley, Marquess of Wellington defeat a French army led by Marshal Nicolas Soult in southern France near the end of the Peninsular War. Preliminaries On the north side of the Allied-occupied area, the French Marshal kept a strong garrison in the fortress of Bayonne and held the line of the Adore River to Port de Lana with three divisions. On the east side, Salt strung out four divisions behind the Joyeuse River, with his cavalry forming a cordon as far south as the fortress of St. John Pied de Port in the Pyrenees. From December 1813 through January 1814, heavy rains brought operations to a standstill. Finally, on February 14, Wellington launched his offensive. On the right flank, Lieutenant General Roland Hill quickly breached the line of the Joyeurs. The following day, Hill's forces crossed the Bidouze River after winning the Battle of Garris. By now, Wellington's left flank corps, under William Beresford, was in motion, sending the division of Louis Abbe to help defend Bayonne. Salt assembled his remaining six divisions and his reserve behind the Gave de Lauren River. The weather broke again on February 18, causing another pause in operations. On February 24, John Hope's corps crossed the Adour to isolate the city of Bayonne on the Bay of Bisquet. That day, Wellington quickly maneuvered the French army out of its position on the Gave de Lorraine. Salt pulled back to others on the Gave de Pau River. Dispositions At others, the Gave de Pau runs from southeast to the northwest. About two miles north of the Gave de Pau, there is a ridge running roughly parallel to the stream. Salt held orders with the 5,100 men of Jean Harris Saith Division. The 2,700 cavalry under his brother, Pierre Salt watched the river line upstream from the town. Holding the ridge, from west to east were Alloy Taupin's 4th, Claude Rouget's 5th, Jean d'Armagnac's 2nd, Maximilien Foy's 1st and Eugene Casimirville's 6th divisions. The 1st division was north of Orthers. Marie Paris's brigade from the 8th division was attached to Taupin's command. Jean-Pierre Travot's conscripts waited in reserve. Honoré Ray commanded the units under Taupin, Paris and Rouget on the right flank. Jean-Baptiste Drouet d'Erlon led d'Armagnac and Foy in the center. Bertrand Clausel supervised Harris Bear and Villiter on the left flank. Salt had 36,000 men and 48 artillery pieces. William Beresford's corps had already crossed to the north side of the Gave de Pau. Wellington planned to send Lowry Cole's 4th and George Townshend Walker's 7th divisions to attack the western end of the ridge. Under the direction of Beresford, Thomas Picton would lead his own 3rd and Henry Clinton's 6th divisions in pinning the French centre. Charles Alton's light division stayed in reserve. Wellington ordered Roland Hill to lead William Stewart's 2nd and Francisco Lacour's Portuguese divisions across the Gave the Power above others and turn the French left. Wellington also had three cavalry brigades under the overall direction of Stapleton Cotton. There were 1,600 mounted men under Lord Edward Somerset, 1,000 horsemen led by Hussey Vivian and 800 troopers under Henry Fane. All told, Wellington commanded 44,000 men, including 17,600 Portuguese and 54 cannons. Within the British force were Hanoverian infantry, cavalry and artillery units of the King's German Legion. Battle To open the battle, Beresford's divisions attacked Taupin's and Paris's men near the church and village of St. Bose. They captured the church but were unable to force their way into St. Bose. The French right-wing commander, Ray launched a counter-attack that drove the British out of the church as well. Watching this reverse from his command post near an ancient Roman camp, Wellington changed his plans. His holding attack with the 3rd and 6th Division would be converted into a head-on assault. Meanwhile, he committed the light division between Beresford's effort against the French right and Picton's attack against the French centre, led by the 152nd foot. The light division advanced up the narrow spur from the Roman camp. This move drove a wedge between Reel's right wing and Derlin's two centre divisions. 
Hill's men crossed the river and started to envelop the French left. Picton's force fought his way onto the ridge in the center. At his command post, Wellington was unhorsed and badly bruised when a canister shot hit his sword hilt. Salt, seeing his defenses compromised, ordered a retreat. This was conducted in good order at first, though menaced by the British cavalry. With the terrain too rough for most mounted operations, only the 7th Hussars made an effective charge, capturing 200 Frenchmen. That evening, the French escaped across the Louis de Bihirkutaren River at Soudanovi in some disorder, blowing up the bridge behind them. Results Salt lost six cannon and 3,985 men including 542 killed, 2,077 wounded and 1,366 prisoners. Foe was wounded. The Anglo-Portuguese lost 367 killed, 1,727 wounded and 80 captured for a total of 2,174. Walker was wounded and sent back to England. Salt continued his retreat. The next battle would be fought at Toulouse.